Hey folks, this is Max and welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build animation when a user is deactivated. So you can see in this folder, I built, and I can open this user activated flow. And this is what's called a, a joiner, is that when a user is activated, you know, you perform a number of or steps. Um, you know, in this example, and I'm gonna add a link to I have another video that shows how to build this, but we're user is activated and then we're creating a message and sending the message to Slack, sending the a message via email and also saving the information to a table. So this is, again, this is user activated or the joiner. Now, what I wanna show you is how to build a lever. So when user is deactivated, okay. So let's click new flow and user deactivated. I'm gonna click this option so we can see the flow history. Now the event that will trigger this is from coming from Okta. And then to user, oh, well, deactivated is better. So user deactivated, okay? So this is the event. Now, um, so this is the information we get about the user that's being activated. So some information, uh, but not a whole lot. So if you ever need more information, we can use another action from the Okta connector, sorry, Okta, which is called read user. And so this allows you to get all the information. Let's uncheck this about the user. We don't need this. But let's get the username, let's get the um, email and the title. All right. Now we're going to connect ID this way. Okay. Okay. And so for this example, again, if you watch the, the previous uh, video, um, again, you'll see how I build the flow. And then again, we use Slack and then Gmail. But for this, let's say you want to make a call to a third party API that's not, uh, that's not available here. None of these um, apps. Um, what I mean, you want to use another service that's not available here, right? So how would you do that? Well, you can make a call to any external third-party API. So that's what I'm going to do. And the card is called API connector, and I'm going to be a post here. Now the API that I'm going to use is, this is a nice uh, hook bin, is not nice service that allows to create uh, kind of a, a test endpoint. And let's take this. This is the endpoint. And then once we make a request, we can see the request information. Let's go back and, okay. Now let's say we wanna send all this information to some, again, some, in this case, it's this endpoint, right? So we're de deactivating the user. So maybe it's a third party service where uh, the user had licenses. Uh, while being an active user. And now you want to deactivate those licenses. So this is, could be an example. You send a request to a third party service to say, hey, this user is no longer you know, with us, for example, and you want to remove their license. Okay, now, so we're gonna send this in the body and we, the username, email, and title, we need to put it in, into a JSON object. To do that, we're gonna use uh, a card called construct. And then construct there to actually list an object. So we want the object one. And then here we're going to say the first one is username. And then we're going to map it. So this is going to create a key key value um, JSON object. And this is going to be the key, and this is the value. This one is going to be email. And we're going to connect email. And then this one is going to be title. Now we can test this. And then just enter any ID. Let's say enter an email and enter a title, click test. And then this is what we get. All right, so a nice, nice JSON uh, object. Okay, so that's what we need. Okay, let's close. And then we take it, take the output and map it this way. And that's all we need to do. Of course, you can add other steps if needed. I mean, you can, again, you can do Slack, email, or anything else. But for now, this is all we need. Let's uh, save this. 
All right. And let's activate the flow. Okay. All right. Now let's go here. And let's go here. So I've got this person and I've used uh, Alicia before in my previous video. And let's see. So uh, Alicia is active right now. And so we're going to um, deactivate. Let's click deactivate. Now, it sometimes takes a little bit longer for the flow to get activated, but we'll see. Let's see, we might need to run this again. Oh, actually, no, it worked. Here we go. So this is the information that was sent. So this is the endpoint to which we made the request. And then this is the, right, the, the information that we sent to that external API point. If I go back here, so yes, we can see. So user deactivated event was triggered. We read the user information. Then we create the JSON object and we can look at it here again. And then we made a request to a third party API to send the user information again, just using our example to, let's say, to deactivate their um, subscription or, or a license for a particular service. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to show you again. This is what's called the lever sort of, um, I guess, example is that when the user you know, is deactivated or leaves the company, for example, you know, you want to do some steps. And so this is just an example of how, or one example, of course, of, you know, um, how you can build such a flow. So I hope this was uh, useful. Thank you for watching. I will include the other video in the description of this video. So you have both videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.